those who have not created an account now please create it because we require linux no uh, for devops so create it early and uh, you have to do, do the practice yes Right now the instance is stopped actually. Let me start it. Select this one. Instance state you have to go and start the instance. Just refresh it, it will start at a moment. Yeah, it started running. Just select this one. <coughs> Just you scroll down. We'll take this one little up. Okay. So this is the public IP. We need to take this one. Copy. And we, are, we need the mobile extension software for connecting the instance. I already downloaded. If you not download means you have to download this one, this software. I shared the videos also in our uh, WhatsApp group. Just go to the videos and create the uh, account, AWS account, and uh, download the mobile extension software for connecting to the EC2 instance. After that, you have to click on sessions. Go to SSH and uh, paste the IP here, public IP. And uh, this is the instance uh, username is EC2-user. It is a Amazon instance, so the username is EC2-user. Advanced SSH settings. Use private key. <coughs> Last time I downloaded one key. I am using the, the same key only. And uh, DevOps learners. Open. Click on open. And click on OK. Now we will come to our instance. Click on accept. Okay. This is the thing. Last time, last class we have done the same thing. We have launched one uh, EC2 instance. After that, we connected with the mobile extension software. Okay. Mm, we'll go through some commands, Linux commands today. Because this is Zoom free session actually, I don't have... Mm, it will end very quickly, that's what. So we will uh, do very quickly. Mm, DevOps demo. DevOps enter the questions. Okay. Okay, let me start. Suppose we want to check the uh, how to check the o OS. Just one second. Suppose I want to check the OS details, like uh, what is the version of this OS and all. I want to check. So for this, the command is cat slash etc slash star release. This is the command for checking the. Uh, our Amazon, Amazon, this is the name of the Linux we are using is Amazon Linux. The version, uh, this is the version, Amazon Linux 2, this one actually. So, like this, you can find the version like this. Okay. Anywhere, if you want to check if any company you are working means you want to check that uh, version of the Linux you are using means you, know, you should know the Linux, know what, which, which Linux you are using, which version you, you are using. You need to check for that one. The command is this one. Okay. The command. Okay. Okay, next one. That is the command is cat slash etc slash star release. Okay, next one. I think this one is giving some problem for us. Okay, okay, next one. Next one is also want to know the one more command is the uname. This will tell the Linux which is we are using which one Linux or what you are using MacBook or which one it will tell you name. Okay. Next command is suppose who am I? Who is the user logged in to to find the logged in user? So that we want to find the logged in user who means who
who am i is the comment see this one ec2 hyphen user is the we, we just we given when we are logging to mobile extent that is the user it's showing who is the user logged in okay ec2 hyphen user is the user the comment is who am i next one to find the date to find the date means the command in linux is date command d a d date okay this is the date it will display today is july 24th now so this one okay next one what is it if you want to find the calendar means cal cal is the cal calendar command this is the calendar for july month if you want for uh, one year calendar means 2023 like this it will display the complete uh, calendar for of the 2023 year next one <coughs> So right now I want to create one directory. In Windows we have like folders. If you want to get any folders like videos, uh, like um, you know, anything like audio, anything, no? we, you will uh, put one folders now. Like that in Linux we will create create a directory. The command is mkdir. The command is mkdir is the command for creating the directory. I am creating my directory Durga or something like that. Okay. I want to create one more directory also mkdir and i want to create some venkat okay like this we can create the directory after directory is created we want to check whether the directory is created or not for checking that one the command is ls command ls even l it will display the list of directories and text files see here uh, i already created some directories previously uh, right now i created the directory is durgaro durgaro is the directory i created and venkat is the directory how uh, see here you can see the blue color ones it's displaying now the, these are the directories but uh, you can identify one more way in the starting of this one you have like d is the d is there now d means directory see this one git hyphen divs is there now this is hyphen is there this is not a directory so hyphen is there means it is some text document see so java hyphen divs also there is no d this is also text document only for the directories only in the front it's showing like d like that you can easily recognize whether it is directory or a text document okay next we'll go <coughs> list the files and edits i only shown you know this one okay, okay. see next one is how to create multiple directories how to create multiple directories just now i created only one directory only mkdr i given and i given one directory but i want to create multiple directories somebody told you to create some 10 to 15 directory, directories means how you will create uh, like like you have to use this command mkdr hyphen p devops linux shell script git maven tomcat that means inside the devops directory we sh i want to create linux directory inside linux directory i want to create shell script directory Inside shell script directory, I want to create git directory. Like that, I want to create maven directory. Inside maven, tomcat directory. For this is a requirement for us. We will create like mkdir hyphen p. Just copy this one. See, right now, if I give ls hyphen l, list of list the directories and uh, text documents. Right now, the first it is created DevOps directory. D V DevOps, C D DevOps. Sorry, I already created this one. No? Okay, let me remove this one. One second. R M. Icon R M. See, I am giving, I'm re I removed the DevOps directory. Let, let me show you once again. LS hyphen L. There is no DevOps directory here. See, right now there is no DevOps, DevOps directory. I will create the directory right now with the command. See, I, right now I am giving LS hyphen L. See, right now this uh, after giving this uh, mkdir hyphen p this uh, command, the DevOps directory was created. Let me go into the directory. To go into that DevOps directory, we have to give cd DevOps directory. Inside de DevOps, what is that uh, files and directories are there? We'll check it. ls hyphen l. See, we have Linux directory, right? Like that, it will create internally. Like 
you can go into Linux and we can check like that. Give LX. Now it's showing cell skip. Like that we can create a, our directories. Okay. That is the requirement for this one. <coughs> if you give CD means it will go back again. PW, PW means current working directory. See this is the home directory. Slash home slash easy to hyphen user means this is the home directory. Okay. Right now there only I am using the commands. Uh, there only I have the I created my directories. Okay, right now one more command is there. This is the command is tree command. Check give the tree T R E tree. See tree tree means it will show all the directories inside the. See we created our directories now DevOps Linux shell scripts inside Git Maven Tomcat like this it will show the directory structure completely using the, if we give the command like tree. Sometimes uh, this tree will not be installed. Uh, you should that time you should install the tree command. See here, I already installed previously. That was that, that is the problem. It came out. Let me show you. Right now tree is installed. Let me remove that one once. That is the command to remove the tree tree package. If I give tree means now it will not come. See, no such file. So we have to install the tree. Install means sudo m install tree hyphen y like that we can do sudo m install tree if you give tree only means you have to give y see it will ask you for prompt like yes or no why you have to give that time and then it will install it okay right now tree is installed if i give tree now it will show you the computer directory structure how how the directories got created inside uh, while creating Okay. This command is to update the package, three packages. Uh, let me execute. It will update the latest packages. That's it. I already show you the remove, remove tree. So I'm not executing this one. Right now, to remove empty directory, to remove empty directory, what is the command? I created some directories now, right now, ls hyphen l. Right now I created this one, Durgaro I created. I want to remove this directory. That command is rmdir D U R tab. If you press tab means it will go, it will show it will come. RMDAR Durgaro. <coughs> I want to remove this directory. The, uh, this is the empty directory. To remove the empty directory, rmdir is the command. Okay. Enter. Once you go and check ls hyphen L. So nothing is there right now. Okay, next one. See to remove to remove non-empty directory. Okay, let me go here. Venkat CD Venkat is there. No? We will go into CD Venkat. This is the directory of Venkat CD Venkat. Okay, ls hyphen l means I am checking whether any files and directories are there inside. So there are no files and directories. Let me create one file. How to create a file? How to create a file means the the command is touch some file one. Suppose this is the file I am creating inside the Venkat directory. Okay, now you check it whether the file is created or not. ls hyphen l. See here, file one got created. This is the document file, test document. So um, now I mean inside the Venkat directory. See, you, uh, to to check whether whether you are in Venkat directory or not, you can file it here also, or you can give pwd also. Pwd d means it will give the present working directory. See, okay. So right now. Uh, I want to come out of this uh, Venkat to one level up. CD dot dot. Then I'll come out of this Venkat directory to back. Now you check where you are. PWD means if you give PWD means it will show you where you are. Right now you are in home directory. You came out of this Venkat directory. So what is our command right now? We want is you to remove non-empty directory. So Venkat is uh, Venkat is right now is a non non non-empty directory because we already created one file. Uh, file one we created in inside the Venkat directory. Right now I want to remove the Venkat directory. So for that one, the command they are giving you rm hyphen rf, rm hyphen rf Venkat. Okay, just enter. Now you check it whether Venkat directory is there or not. ls hyphen l, check whether Venkat directory is there or not. Venkat directory is not there right now because we already removed using rm hyphen rf. RMFNRF is the command to remove non empty directories. Previously, we used RMDIR command to remove empty directories. 
okay this is for non-empty directories the command is rm hyphen rf to remove the non-empty directories next one is see here the command is to create multiple files to create multiple files we have to use touch command earlier I, um, previously i showed you to create one file right now to create multiple files f1 this is one file f2 f3 f4 f5 s6 if you give enter now you check how many files created it created how many files f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 s6 in one command you can create multiple files suppose somebody ask you to create how you how many how you create uh, like multiple files using touch command you can create multiple files in single shot okay okay next we'll go for uh, cat command cat command create file using data using cat command how you will do that one i want to create a file with some data okay cat we have to give greater than symbol and some i giving you f7 f7 and i will give enter press enter i am typing right now hi welcome to devops learners program okay i am giving enter again i type some data i created a file using cat greater than symbol and the f7 is the file name after that i given enter then you have to uh, enter your text whatever the text you require then you give one enter then control plus d control d just you press the control key and control d okay then you come out of this one okay like this you can create one file and we have you can enter the document text inside it and you can come out of that you can save it you can come out okay then uh, to see that uh, to, to do to see the what are the contents inside the f7 i want to give f cat f7 it will show you the contents inside the f7 file see i wrote this one now so it is displaying the, this this content inside the f7 the command is cat f7 okay next one we have finished ninth one next one is right now you will see how to delete the file the command is rm hyphen f ls hyphen l we have some files are there i told you these are the files with uh, there is no nothing uh, hyphen is there means it is a text file okay so the command for remove the file means rm hyphen rf this is the file i want to delete f6 suppose rm hyphen rf f6 now you check again ls hyphen l so there is no f6 file only uh, till f5 it is there and again f7 like this we can remove the file also using rm hyphen rf file name okay next see here copy file i want to copy uh, some data from uh, one file to other file here i can show you like we have some data in f7 right cat f7 i'm giving so data is there now here inside this one. hi welcome to devops learner program i want to copy this f7 data to f f5 the command is cp f7 and f5 okay now you check it in f5 cat f5 see right now the data copied into f5 okay like that we can copy the cop copy the data from one file to the other file <coughs> okay next one the one more command is to copy multiple files we need cat command to copy multiple files suppose i have data in f1 and f2 i want to copy it into f3 right now the command is cat right now we have data in f7 and f5 right cat f5 f7 next one is what greater than symbol and give give for f4 and press enter now you check it in the f4 f4 file see here two lines got copied in f4 file so we what we did we, we copied two files data into f4 file that is we copied f5 and f7 file data into f4 f4 file this is the command for copying multiple files data next one rename a file 
how to rename a file right now i want i have this file name is f7 is there ls i have file name is f7 is there okay i want to change it to some file like linux the command is to rename the file mv f7 and i want to command name give the name as new 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 file name is linux linux document suppose and enter see now you check it check the file ls hyphen l whether the new file uh, the file f7 is, is renamed to linux hyphen doc or not see right now f7 is not there here right now this file new the, it was renamed to ls linux hyphen doc like that we can rename rename one file old file to new file okay see here M mv is used to uh, move the files also here we have i uh, right now i'll show you in uh, practical way right now i am in home directory slash home slash ec2 hyphen user i want i have some files ls hyphen l okay i want to move uh, this uh, linux file to uh, some other directory the command is like here mv command slash home ec2 ec2 hyphen user and i want to move that directory to one more directory is there opt directory is there i want to move that file there sorry command is not showing i'm giving sudo one second yeah we have to give sudo command while moving a file into uh, to a slash opt we have to give sudo sudo is the root user actually right now we will check whether that file is moved or not we sorry i have not changed this one something is gone wrong cd slash opt i have not my mode that uh, cc2 hyphen user is moved okay sorry okay I think it got moved. Okay. Okay, this got moved. Acha. Okay, we'll move this one to MV. Right now we move this user not there. MV um, slash opt. This is in slash opt. EC2 hyphen user slash home. We'll move to slash home directory. Slash. We'll give sudo command. One second. Okay, now you go and check to slash home. It is slash home. Okay, ls. Okay, right now it moved. Uh, actually, what happened, guys? We moved the ec2 hyphen user to slash opt. Okay, let me. We have to move. Which one actually? I told you to move. cd slash home ec2. Okay, we have to go to. not showing no, no, not okay. okay p double d okay right ls if an l okay okay right now i want to move the I want. I told you to move this one. Right? I, I did. I given some wrong command. That's what. We will. We have to move this Linux doc to slash opt. Okay. Uh, right now the command is. Uh, we have to give sudo command before that one. Sudo, mv, is to move the file. Move the slash home, home directory. We have to give completely. User slash. I want to move this file. Before that I have not given that given that one. Right now um, like this. Slash opt. Okay. Now you check it. CD slash. Right now you check it. The file is there or not? Ls hyphen l. Right now the Linux hyphen doc is not there in the uh, our home directory. It was moved to slash opt. Let us go and check there. CD slash opt. Okay. Now you give ls hyphen l. See this Linux doc came to here. Okay. Like this we can do this comments. Okay. 
Like this also one more command is there, head command is there to display first 10 lines of the file. To display first 10 lines of the file, we have to give head, head hyphen n. Right now how many are there? There are in, okay here this one is in. Right now I am in home directory guys, ec2 hyphen user, ls hyphen l. Okay, the command here is I want to display uh, first 10 lines of the file. First ten, I have to enter some. Let me check one. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So this is the uh, I'm entering one uh, that some data here, guys. save it i enter some data in the f1 f1 like f1 file i want to see to display first 10 lines of the file or else we can give first five lines suppose the command we have to give head hyphen n5 file name head hyphen n5 file name is f1 so it will display only first five five lines only here this command head hyphen n5 f1 means okay next one next uh, next command is to display the last 10 uh, last 10 lines suppose we will display we have cat f1 widget this is the uh, file lines now you give the command like i want to display last five lines right this one is tail, tail we have to use tail command sorry this one is head for first first five lines to display last means you have to give tail See here, the last 10 lines is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The same thing it got displayed here. Last 5 lines. Okay. Like this, we can use head command for displaying first 5 lines. And uh, to display uh, last 5 lines in the file, tail command we will use. Okay. Okay, this one I told you this one. So I, I already told you ls command also to list the files. ls l also to list the long listing listing the files okay here one more thing is if you want to see here right now uh, the files order is in the in this direction we will give ls hyphen l l r it will come in the reverse order see, see earlier it came this devops came in the top right now it, it, came, it came in the down before f1 came in the top right now it came in the down ls hyphen l r means it will display reverse order See latest created files on the top. Ls hyphen lt is the command. See ls hyphen lt. Sorry. Ls hyphen lt. See it will display the latest. The latest created files will display in the top. These these files I, I created earlier. Today in the, in our class we created these files. So it is displaying on the top. If the same command if you want to give the reverse means ls hyphen lt r. Right now, I am giving ls and ltr means it will show you it will show you in the reverse order. Previously, f1, f2, these are coming in the top now. Now it will show in the uh, it will show in the bottom. Like that. that means it will it will be in the reverse order. Guys, I am stopping this one because uh, it's done. Uh, the time is up. I will show you the. Today is going to comments in the uh, in our WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you.